Okay, everyone, let's talk about a topic that not everyone wants to talk about, and that is herpes. And what do you do with herpes? Herpes is a viral infection, uh, often sexually transmitted, but just generally through contact, just sometimes that contact is sexual. Um, this is something that's often just known as cold sores. If it's up around your mouth area, it can also happen on genitals. Um, and there is an issue with that because one, it's a little unsightly. It makes people a little feel a little nervous and awkward or uh, you know self-conscious. Uh, the other thing is that it's going to come back uh, in almost every say, case. So one of the things that I think is important to talk about is that there are pretty good medications for helping those flares, those blisters go away. And a couple of important key things that you should probably think about here. One, if it's the first time you've got a sore of some sort of concern, a particularly genital sore, please go in and get evaluated. It's uh, very important to make sure that you get diagnosed with the appropriate thing. Uh, while herpes uh, sores are generally considered physically harmless to most folks, uh, you don't want to get mistaken and have something else going on. Syphilis sores um, you know, can be uh, sometimes mistaken for that by folks who are not particularly um, skilled at identifying them. So you want to make sure that you have the right thing and you're getting the appropriate treatment. The next thing to talk about is the medication. The sooner you get on your medication for a flare, the more effect it's gonna have on how fast it can make that flare go away and make the blisters disappear. So if you're someone who'd be interested in an antiviral medication, if you start getting these sores, make sure you immediately go to your physician to get checked out so you can get that medication and get it in your system as soon as possible. That way you can make those blisters go away as soon as possible. Another key tip here, and this one is important, please consider asking your physician if they can write some refills so you'll have them at your pharmacy. Sometimes it might take you two or three days to get in to see your physician, but if you have a refill for those flares that you know are going to come eventually, then you can get to that medication quickly, uh, and then you can check in with your physician later if you have concerns, but you'll have access to the medication quickly so you can make those flares go away fast. Another thing to note is that while most people tend to have flares, um, sometimes due to sun exposure will kind of uh, increase a, a flare coming back or um, just moments of stress or illness. Um, some folks might have one flare a year, maybe two flares a year, um, and they might say, hey, I'll just take a week of meds whenever it, that happens and I'll be fine. Some folks, for whatever reason, seem to have more recurring flares. And so if you're someone who seems to be having flares all the time, don't forget to talk to your physician about there may be a way to take some medication on a more regular basis as more of a preventative to kind of keep those flares from coming back and reduce how often they happen. There are lots of ways to take medication to help deal with this issue. Um, and it's a thing that a lot of folks don't necessarily understand. And because they're a little awkward about it and a little self-conscious, they might be afraid to talk to their physician and understand that there are really good valid treatments out there for them. Do not be embarrassed. I promise you, your doctor has seen it before. They can help you.